What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since my last video posting. It's been around six months since my last video. But today, got a pretty interesting video today. We're gonna be going on a seven day cruise, me and my girlfriend, to Bermuda. It's actually my first cruise uh, ever. Um, but we're pretty excited. We've packed pretty much since Friday. Um, so we're just going out right now. We're gonna get some breakfast. So we'll see you guys then. All right, we're back. We just picked the breakfast, so we're gonna dig in. Uh, but the purpose of the video is to pretty much bring you guys along, show you guys the seven day highlights of our cruise to Bermuda. Um, this is actually my first cruise again to Bermuda. My girlfriend's also first cruise to Bermuda, so she's also been on two other cruises. Um, but yeah, we're actually gonna pretty much dig in and then head out to the piers. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys pictures of the ship. So this is on the Norwegian Joy. We actually put in a bid for a balcony suite. So we did an upgrade from the balcony suite to a club balcony suite. So you see I do a little room tour here. Definitely very spacious for two people. Um, definitely worth it as well. We did pretty much a minimum bid, but um, here's pretty much a view of the room. Now this is us leaving New York City. Now overall, the Norwegian Joy is actually a great ship. I think, you know, for our first time going on a cruise for myself, it was pretty good. Um, in terms of the food itself, you obviously see this is more so at the buffet at Garden Cafe. Uh, wish they had a little bit more of a vegan options in terms of maybe like seitan and tofu, but overall it was good. Now here's day two at the Mandara Spa. Uh, we had some cruise credit, so we decided to do it. Definitely very well worth it there. Then went over to the gym. Got a good workout in there a day or two of the seven days, uh, but a good gym, have a lot of good equipment. This was in actually Virginia, so getting some clips here on our day one or two in Virginia and went to some of the shows as well. So on day three, we took advantage of the priority access. Essentially, it gives you embarkation, disembarkation priority, along with free room service for breakfast only. So we did enjoy that on the mornings. You know, obviously you could go to Garden Cafe if you wanted to as well for breakfast. Um, now they do have a lot of activities on board the ship. As you can see, we played a lot of mini golf. That was honestly probably our most favorite on board. Now every morning they would actually do a morning show with the cruise director and another staff member going over the itinerary on the entire ship throughout various points of the day. Um, so that was always good coming back from dinner the day before as they upload the next day's itinerary. Now you can see the, the water becoming a lot more blue in color as we approach Bermuda. So we were in Heritage Wharf, Bermuda. Very beautiful as you can see on the, the footage. Now we were gonna have pretty much a big lunch because we knew we were gonna be going kayaking. So I made sure to grab a lot of food. And then pretty much the area or the excursion is called Wild West Kayaking. So we go to the west side of the island and you can see footage of the excursion on screen. Now the kayaking actually was our favorite part of the trip. We would actually just come back to Bermuda to go on the kayaking again. And of course meeting the locals along the way, very friendly and, and inviting when speaking with them and just learning more about Bermuda as a whole. So here we are walking to Snorkel Park Beach, but went and visited the other local shops around the area at the dockyard. We are at Snorkel Park Beach. Enjoying the good waves, good music, good drinks.
So this is the Savor restaurant, which was very great in terms of overall food and service. So here we got on a 30 minute bus ride via tour guide to Horseshoe Bay Beach. So as it's known for the pink sand, it's very great again meeting the locals here and getting to know more about Bermuda. This is a man of war, Portuguese man of war. So they can be deadly. Um, this looks like a little baby one. Um, but they do eat, they have little tentacles in the end um, that can sting. So they use those stinging cells and they catch fish and they can eat up to 100 fish a day. You can see them moving a little bit now. But, but yeah, this is Horseshoe Bay Beach. Just enjoying the day here. So beautiful. All right, here is video of the city, this one city of Bermuda. Um, now down here, we actually got a boat transfer. You can't really see it down here to the Wild West Kayak. Definitely would recommend that one. And then if you can see back here, I'm gonna try and point to it. I know it's gonna bring it out of focus. Right here, the little white roof with the blue trim, that is Snorkel Beach, so not too far at all. Um, it's a definitely a very small beach. Um, definitely get your money's worth there. If you want more of like an intimate sort of setting, but um, I definitely enjoyed the Wild West Kayak in terms of the mall. And then lastly down here, they have little buses um, that we took to Horseshoe, Horseshoe Bay Beach. It has the, the pink sand there. Saw a couple man of wars there as well. Um, and then lastly, we have the clock tower shop, which is right there. You see that by the two towers. That where you can get you know little knickknacks and, and shops, etc. So definitely check that out. But 100 percent would be coming back to Bermuda for the future. We really had a good time here. And I believe we will be departing in around 30 minutes to an hour. So, just want to get one final last clip for you guys before we leave. All right, and we are back from the trip. Definitely enjoyed going to Bermuda and we'll be going there for the future. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm out. Later.